Hello and welcome to the latest video and podcast from Fantasy Football Scout as we look ahead to Fantasy Premier League Game Week 28. My name is Joe and today we are looking to see how the pundits and elite managers uh, in the great and the good league at Fantasy Football Scout are getting on. Uh, so who are these managers? Uh, well, many have mo uh, multiple strong finishes, um, and in Ali's case, he has won it. Uh, Black Boxes, Mark and Az, myself, uh, Seb and Andy from the Scout cast, Prowse, FPL, Harry, and many more are in this list. Um, we'll also look to second-guess their next moves, uh, especially with chips set to be deployed over the coming weeks, um, including free hits, perhaps in game week 29. Also, we have a wild card as well in Andy, so we'll have a look at his wild card um as a snapshot of to see those i think he'll probably be the only wild carder but you never know there could be some more um to see how they're thinking um before we look to see how they've got on um just reminder do press that like button it really helps us out and also do remember to subscribe so you keep up to date with all our latest videos and podcasts also do check out fantasyfootballscout.co.uk for latest membership offers to help you climb up your mini leagues um okay let's have a look at the table OK, this uh, well, the story here um, is a sea of green arrows. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of 18 did get a red arrow. So the majority got green arrows. And it was a week where there was um, a number of well-owned players did well. I myself had um, two blanks out of uh, 11. It was actually KDB and Solanke who blanked for me. Um, and that was a similar theme, really. We had some who didn't get any blanks at all. Um, like so Foden did well and so this really helped the Green Arrows because um, a lot of sort of well-owned template uh, players in these teams um, as is amongst those so I, I picked out as here with the red arrow because red, red arrow is pretty pretty small um, so he's around 650k mark and his uh, red arrow is just well under 2000 but um, just look he got 74 points so <laughs> I'm old school. I think 74 points is good in a single game week. Um, but um, yeah, gets a red arrow this day and age, which is harsh. Uh, a lot of the other green arrows are quite minimal. Um, mine was 6,800. Um, so I've, I'm edging on the top 50K. Um, and there's a, quite a number within the top 100K here, uh, right the way down to FPL General on this list here. Um, Lows such as Tom, very experienced managers. He's got five top 1k finishes um they are um he's down at just under th in top 300k so lots um lots to think about there for those managers and see how they're going to up the up these rankings but it, it's good to see in game ahead of game week 28 um how they're sort of set up and what we're going to really look at is the sort of moves they might make um i think a good way is to have a look at the trend uh, into have a look at the uh, transfers they've already made to see what sort of state they're in. And then we're going to have a look at the fixtures as well. OK, so let's have a look at the transfers. OK, so what we can see is um, luckily I was away in gaming 27 because everyone seemed to get Huang in. Um, he then promptly got injured. Uh, so they've, they've shipped him to Son. And I was quite amazed that uh, many of this group or many managers were able to just say, oh, I've got Huang in. He's injured. I'm going to get Son in. I've, Oh, there's five million in my back pocket. I'll just use that. Um, so amazingly, they've got a lot of money. But I guess with Salah being injured, well, was injured. Apparently, he's back in training this week. Uh, and we'll come back to Salah in a bit. Um, that move, perhaps there is a bit more money floating around at the moment. Um, so, yeah, a number, one, two, three, four. I mean, I can't even count them up. M many, many of this group got in Huang and have made the move to Son. Uh, others have moved De Bruyne to Son. That's a move I'm definitely, hopefully, going to do. Uh, that's in my plans for Game Week 28. Um, so this move away from De Bruyne, away from Wang, obviously, moving towards Son. So we're expecting to see Son in the template, and that's that's going to carry on as well. And as we look at the fixtures, we'll see why Son's quite important to this group. Um, others, Other uh, transfers of note... Uh, with the double game week in mind, people are already starting to think, oh, I need some more Luton and Bournemouth players. So Tom, for example, has got some Barnier in uh, for Stupinan, who is a, a rotation risk, definitely, uh, for Brighton. Um, but yeah, we can see the, 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 way this, the way these transfers have been going on. So let's have a look at the fixtures. 
because I think what this would do was help sort of sort of help us to sort of second guess what they're going to be doing. Well, these engaged elites, I say elites, some of them are elite, <laughs> elites um, and uh, uh, pundits. And I mean, they, they're, they're engaged. They're, full, they're fully invested in FPL. So uh, it, looking at the fixtures, we'll see sort of how they're going to be moving. So we can see here with obviously 28, got Bournemouth against she Sheffield United and Luton at home. Then they've got great fixtures afterwards as well. So we'll probably start seeing a divide between those that are free hitting and those that aren't. Um, so uh, if you're n if you're not free hitting, Luton players are advantageous. So there might be few more of them coming in. They've got Crystal Palace and Bournemouth away, game at 28, and then game at 29. They've got Nottingham Forest. Uh, and then the fixtures are sort of middling. <laughs> they've got some tough ones, City, for example, and Arsenal. But then they do also have Tottenham and Bournemouth, which are okay for, for, their, for their assets there. Um, meanwhile, um, and for the, for game week 30 onwards, game week 30 is quite an interesting week. And this group of managers are already thinking about 30. That's why they got Son in. I mean, yeah, Son has, has got okay fixtures in the meantime. He does play in 29 as well. So he's good for free hitters and non-free hitters alike. But he plays Aston Villa. So that's going to be a real match up between Son against Aston Villa's offside trap, which I think, I think he got a hat trick of disallowed goals in their last meeting. So I think this group of elite managers will be um, looking to see, these pundits and elite managers will be looking to see where the song can beat that offside trap. Um, but yeah, looking from game week 30, you know, uh, they're going to be thinking, oh, how are we going to uh, get money for Salah? Because Salah has got back-to-back -back great games. We've got, in fact, he's got three good home games. So he's got Brighton and Sheffield United at home from game week 30. Crystal Palace at home in game week 33. And to be honest, the way at Manchester United, good fixture. For Son, uh, for, for Salah in game week 32. So already this group are thinking, how can we free up money, I think, to get Salah in? Meanwhile, Haaland might be used. They might be thinking, looking at the fixtures again, well, Liverpool away, then a blank, Arsenal at home. Might better do without Haaland for a few weeks. But they're going to want him back in game week 31. So any of this group who are looking to ditch Haaland are going to be looking to get him back in game week 31. Aston Villa, Crystal Palace and Luton. That's a lovely run for City uh, there. And they're going to want Haaland there as a, as a captaincy candidate. Um, uh, so, yeah, we can see from the fixtures there what, what they're sort, what's their thinking might be. Um, so let's have a look at the template. So this is the template uh, following game week 27. Um, we're looking to see how this might change in game 28. Well, it's already, I mean, it's already changed a bit, a fair bit. With um, last week, we saw KDB in here. He's pretty much gone. He's still in my team. And even I'm thinking of getting rid of him. I'm quite patient, but even I'm thinking of getting rid of him. Son has emerged now. So Son is in 77% of these teams. So um, getting on for nearly 8 out of 10 of these managers' teams. Um, so Son's f firmly in there. So I'll just read out this template for those listening to the podcast version. We've got Dubravka um, and Ariola are still the goalkeeper combination of choice. Um, at the back, you've got Gabriel, Saliba and Trippier. Gabriel um, is in pretty much 9 out of 10, 88.9% of teams. Saliba, a few less, 4 out of 10 teams. Trippier, 3 out of 10 teams. Um, and I'll come back to Trippier in a sec. Um, also in defence, uh, you've got Doughty at 44%. Estupin and still knocking around. And like Trippier, I think he's going to be going soon. Uh, and Garnacho is in about a quarter of teams. Meanwhile, in the midfield, um, as, as well as Garnacho, who being a quarter of teams, you've got the big heavy hitters. You've got Foden in nearly all teams. Saka in nearly all teams. Son in three quarters, over three quarters of teams. Same with Palmer. Um, so with those fixtures, with Palmer possibly needed soon and those without Palmer wanting him back, he's still good value. We think we're going to see, I think we're going to see Palmer's um, uh, ownership increase. Not this week, but in the coming weeks. Son from this week, you're going to see even more. Son could even get up to 100%. Um, meanwhile, up front, you've got Haaland, 100%. Watkins, 100%. Solanke um, getting on for nearly 9 out of 10 teams in this group of pundits and elite managers. Um, so my predictions are, based on those fixtures, we're going to see more Bournemouth and Luton coming in. So Alfie Doughty's in there, Solanke's in there. Then we're going to start to see a Bournemouth defender or two. We might see um, Neto at the back, a goalkeeper. We might see 
uh, Zabanye, um, a player I'm considering as well. Um, one of the reasons that not only for the double, um, if you see Trippier here, 6.9 million, Stupinam 5 million, well, you can save a little bit of money, um, quite a lot of money in Trippier's case. Or in my case, I've got Van Dijk. You can move them down to a Bournemouth uh, or Luton defender if you don't own Doughty already. You can move those down and that frees up a lot of money and that goes into the Salah pot for game week 30. And I think that's what this group are going to do. So those without Son, there's going to be more Son owners. They're going to be thinking a little bit about Palmer as an enabler, those that don't own him. Haaland might be jettisoned and he might go for someone like Morris. Those without Solanke, the remaining Solanke list managers might go for him instead of Haaland. And then they're going to look to get Haaland back game week 31, I think. And all that money and uh, will be making sure they can get Haaland back in 31. But also they're looking at Salah in game week 30. And I think that's key, really. So Trippier is injured, I think, for this game week. <coughs> Maybe the next as well. Um, uh, so we'll, we'll find out a bit later in the week. But he's definitely an injury doubt as, as I'm recording this, which is on Wednesday around lunchtime. Uh, just to timestamp this. Um, so, yeah, Trippier, I think, is going to go and it's going to go into a Salah fund. Um, those those, those getting him, not now, but Salah will be an important player for them a bit further down the line. Um, I think I think this this Gabriel Saliba Saka um, trio will remain. Um, and I think those with that will probably feel happy with that. They're happy to go with that. Um, but yeah, so I think those are going to be the major, major changes, really. So um, I think one of the real concerns, um, not concerns, one of the real issues here is game 29, whether they're going to free hit or not. So um, let's, let's have, a, have another game of free hit or not. Um, OK, so um, Greyhead has compiled this, has counted up painstakingly. Um, the players are going into, well, so far, we're going into game 28. But this is players for blank game week 29. So you can see the I'll, re, I'll, I'll read out sort of a snapshot of this in a sec for those listening to the podcast version. But you can see um, we've got four managers now with seven. That's more than last week. Um, and so that means that they are looking to gear up for getting 10 or 11 good players for game week 29. So they're not going to be free hitting. They're going to be saving their free hit for another time. Meanwhile, at the bottom, myself and Finn, we only have t- three Um Three players, which so we're gearing up to using our free hit. There's no way we can't use our free hit. We have that there. Then you've got this other group here, say uh, four. Well, they're probably going to free hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of this group. That's the bot. The majority have got five. That's a tricky call. So they're going to be looking at quantity, quality over quantity if they're not free hitting. So if they're not going to free hit, they can get two or three more. Might have a hit, maybe even more. And so they can get up to about eight or nine. But if they were eight or nine quality players, so a lot of Son, for example, Watkins, Tony, Bowen at West Ham, these are the players that are playing in 29. As long as they've got all of those sort of key captains cons- considered, they could do well. Um, John Ballantyne's with six. He's got Ariola, Cash, Watkins, Doggy, Doughty and Son. I suspect he might not free hit. I don't think he's he's that far off, two or three transfers away from a very good squad game at 29. But as I said, those a bit below. Um, those listening to the podcast version, um, uh, Seb uh, Zof, uh, Zofa from FPL Wire, uh, uh, FPL Guns, who's Ali, who won it last year, and FPL General, they're all on seven. Um, so for, let, let's take uh, let's take Seb because Seb's a good a good planner. <laughs> so th- these are the players that he's he's got at the moment. He's got Pau Torres, Douglas Louise, Watkins. He's got three Villa. He's got Flecken. Probably is the best goalkeeper that week. He's got Doughty. He would be uh, a must as well. Madison and Porro. So I suspect he'll be looking to get Son, Bowen, and Tony in something like that. Um, so he might actually be looking to get Son in this week. Um, uh, he might not want to um, uh, stock up too much anymore. Liverpool, Barkley might come in as well. So uh, you might get Barkley coming in for some of these. He's, he's quite a handy player, uh, I think, Barkley, because he plays um, plays in 29. It's a good fixture, home to Nottingham Forest, and he's got that double as well. So I think we're going to be seeing Ross Barkley. I'm just looking down the list here, um, and uh, amongst those with Barkley, I think, uh, is uh, Fabio Borges. Um, who and Tom Freeman 
uh, amongst those with Barclay already. So he's already starting to get popular. So, um, I mean, looking at that, uh, this, t this uh, template again, just fl flicking back towards that. I think we're going to see Barclay in here, maybe 40% owned. I mean, he's probably about 20 or 30% owned at the moment. So uh, we might see uh, a Ross, Ross Barkley um, getting in there. Um, I mentioned about um, what this group would be doing. Um, I don't think many were wild cards, I, but there is a strategy to wild card in game at 28. Some did it in 27. And then to get you through 28's double, you can really stock up on it can get you through 29 you can cover yourself without using your bench and then hopefully you can use money in the bank perhaps or transfers to um make sure you're getting the likes of Salah and Haaland and those types of players for game week 30 onwards and then in game week 34 or 37 you can use your free hit so you don't really have to worry about double game week 34 so players like me who's free hitting 29 when I'm looking ahead for game week 34, and once we know who's playing, then who's doubling could be Newcastle, could be Manchester United. Then I'll be looking to use transfers to get them. But the free hitters can just really stock up on a really good double game week uh, team in 34 as well. So, um, um, so here's an example. This is what Andy's doing. So I've got a picture um, from the scout cast. Uh, I didn't edit it down. I, I was going to, but I thought I'd just leave, leave this random picture of Andy and Rich who were on the scout cast with him. So I've got his team up on the screen for those listening on the podcast. Andy's sort of looking up to the heavens, perhaps for inspiration. And um, and I've managed to time this um, a screenshot. So Rich is, <laughs> not deliberately, Rich's eyes are closed. He's I don't, don't want to look at it or <laughs> it's dreaming of something else, dreaming of perhaps using his free hit. I don't know. Um, so I'll run through his team and, and, but I, and I actually like this team. Um, I think it's a good, it's a good team that sets up with that strategy that I, I mentioned where you, you're, you're preparing for 28, 29 really well. You can, you've got money. I believe he's got a substantial sum of money in the bank for this. So he's got money to get Salah and Haaland in, um, and then he's game week 34. He doesn't have to worry about it. He can probably just free hit them. So he's got Neto in goal. It's a double. Uh, he's got Alfie Doughty, who has a double. Zabarnier, uh, double. Gabriel, great. Anyway, um, in a 3-4-3, playing Barkley, double. Palmer, good, great. Son, he's got Son in. He's already got a key player in. Saka's still there. Up front, and this is where some sacrifices are made, but he's got Morris and Solanke. Um and so that's the striker from the, the the main striker from both the doubling sides in 28. And he's got Watkins and on his ban bench. And this is how he's used preparing for game 29. Ariola in place already. Douglas Louise playing in 29. Reggion, he's going to be a key figure for free hitters and a doggy as well. Um, a Spurs defender. So he's got that nicely covered there. Um, I actually quite like the planning of this. Um, the notable absentee is Haaland or any city in fact um so myself I'll be going into 28 with Foden and and, and Haaland facing Liverpool they might both blank they might it might be one of those 4-3 thrillers who knows but he's taking that risk there um but it was something I was talking about on the team selection video with Tom who's also in this group of managers um that um a move from Haaland to Morris and making sure you've got Solanke in place is not actually that bad because you've got those two good players there who are doubling in twenty in 28. If you're not free hitting, you've got um, Morris to play in 29. Meanwhile, chances are, if you've got that front line of Morris, Lanky, Watkins, you got money in the bank. So that's your Salah fund. That's part of your money for your ha Haaland fund as well. And so just counting up the doublers. So Andy here with this free hit, uh, with this wild card rather, has got uh, Neto. Uh, so we've got Neto. Um, I'll count them up as I go. Neto, Doughty, Zabarnier, Barkley, Morris and Solanke. He's got six. He's totally maxed out. So he's got, he's got six doublers there and he's got a good team for 29. I quite like it. Um, uh, for, for my team, um, I'm okay. I'm okay for 28. I've got Doughty and Solanke. I'm going to get a, a Bournemouth defender in. I'm fine with that. I don't want to go overboard. Um, and 29, I'm going to free hit. And then I'm fine for game week 30. 
um, I'm all set up. So my personal moves, I've got KDB, KDB to Som, and um, I've got uh, Van Dyke, and I'm going to use the same principle as those with Trippier, move him down to Sabanyi or another Bournemouth defender, free up the money, free hit 29, game at 30, I'll emerge like a resplendent butterfly <laughs> to uh, get Salah in immediately um, for, um, yeah, get, get him. I'll, I'll have that money to get Salah in. Um, the cost, though, then will be removing Foden. And I might decide against it. I don't know. Um, but someone's got to go. You can't have them all, um, as this wildcard shows. But I think this is a pretty good, pretty good wildcard um, there. And so we've seen uh, the free hits as well. OK, um, thanks so much for your time. I think uh, hopefully it's been a good insight. I think a lot of these engaged managers in this league, um, you know, will, their thoughts will mirror ours as well. And so whichever strategy you've got to get through the coming weeks, good luck with it. Whether you're wildcarding like Andy, um, looking up to the heavens, uh, or whether you are free hitting as well, like me, uh, or just carrying on um, through this period as well. Good luck with that. Do press that like button and do remember to subscribe so you can keep up to date with all our latest videos and podcasts. And do check out those membership offers at fantasyfootballscout.co.uk. Um, hopefully next week I'll be back with Greyhead, who's away this week, who compiles this. Um, uh, in the meantime, there's plenty more video and podcasts this week. Team news, for example, We've got deadline dilemmas on Thursday. Uh, burning questions, which is, um, I believe, taking place as I'm recording this, uh, hopefully. So we've got lots and lots of um, uh, videos and podcasts for you. Thanks a lot for your time. Take care. See you soon.